Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I want to do like a do-it-yourself blackhead removal mask. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos going around on Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. So I decided I wanted to try it out myself. From what I've seen, um, it's really, really easy. You only need a few items. And uh, the main ingredient is activated charcoal. You can find this at um, your local health food stores and also you're going to need some school glue you want to make sure that it's non-toxic because you are going to be putting this on your face and also you want to use a little plastic container or a plastic bowl and also you want to use a makeup brush to apply your mask to your face so I've never done this before so I'm a little bit nervous to see how this is going to work I hope it works because I do have a lot of blackheads on my face um, especially on the left side of my face right above the cheek area I have a lot of blackheads there. This side, not so much, but definitely right here. Um, so I'm hoping that this works for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this um, charcoal. I'm just going to take about a teaspoon of this and put it into my container. Okay, this is kind of messy, but so I'm taking a teaspoon of this, putting it in here. And then I'm going to go ahead with the glue. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of it as well. I've never made it before, so I'm not too sure how much I'm supposed to put. But, yeah. So I'm just going to take my little brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up. And it looks like I need to put more glue. Alright, so I end up putting about, I want to say, three um, teaspoons of glue and one teaspoon of the charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my face. And we want to stay away from your eyes and also anywhere where you have hair, like your eyebrows. And if you have a lot of blackheads, um, I believe I read that you want to apply more in that area. So I'm going to, you want to apply a thick layer in that area. So I'm going to apply a thick layer right here. Since that's where I have um, most of my blackheads. And if you only have blackheads in one area, then you can just apply the mixture to that area alone. But I'm just going to do the full face. So you want to make sure you're away from your eyebrows and also your hairline or you're going to be left with no edges and no eyebrows. So I'm going to try my best not to go too close and stay away from your eyes. And I believe they said you want to leave this on for I think 20 minutes or so. So this is what the mask looks like after I finished applying it to my face. As you can see it's still wet. Um, it's only been about a few seconds, so I'm just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes and I'll be back. This is what the mask looks like after 20 minutes, and I'm trying to lift the edges, and to be honest, it's really painful, at least for me. So again, I'm just trying to lift the edges, being very gentle. And the reason why it's painful is because we have tiny little hairs all over our face. Um, some of us have more than others. The more hair you have on your face, uh, the more painful it would be. So you just want to take your time and you want to pull up. So I was just examining the mask and this is what it looks like. I found a little blackhead slash whitehead. It was pretty big. So I'm just continuing doing the same thing. This area was really painful for me. My eyes started watering and twitching. 
yeah, the nose hurt a lot for me. You just want to take your time. And at this point, I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to rip this thing right off. So the mask did uh, make my face a little bit red and a little bit dry. Um, I just wet a cloth with some warm water and then started patting my face with the cloth. And then eventually, I started wiping off the excess mask that didn't come off. So here's a close-up of what um, my mask looked like after I peeled it off. You can really see all those tiny little white heads. Especially on this one, you can really see the white heads. It's pretty gross, but it did an amazing job. I'm really happy with uh, my skin. My skin felt really, really soft. And this is what my skin looked like after removing the mask. I didn't apply anything. And if you look closely, you can see all the little holes in my skin. Especially right here, you can see a huge hole. That's where the big um, white head came out of. And that's what my skin is looking like. After my first attempt, I did it three more times and this is definitely going to be a part of my new regimen. This mask was really easy to make and it only cost about 10 bucks for me to buy the materials. Honestly, I don't remember anymore. Either CVS or Walgreens, I went to both um, stores. Um, and this was, I believe, $10.99. And here in 